Hello, this is Jaden Max, and I'm here doing something I've been wanting to do for a long time. I'm going to create a new single player world. Though when I say new, it's kind of with air quotes because I, I have my own single player world that I do off camera. Uh, just as a place for me to relax and unwind when I want to play Minecraft but I don't necessarily want to record. I mess around in that single player world. But I decided I want to do a brand new single player world on camera as a let's play and I'm calling this Sheen Hoshi. The reason why is I'm actually going to recreate my original single player world, single player world that I called Hajime Boshi. And Hajime Boshi in Japanese basically means new world or starter world or beginner world or as I like to call it sometimes noob world. Uh, I'm going to start over again because that world is corrupt and by corrupt I mean things just don't work right I've thought about going back and reinstalling old uh, old updates of Minecraft but where's the fun in that I want to play with the new stuff and basically that world hasn't worked right ever since uh, I believe it was 1.5 that the world stopped working correctly and there's a reason for that Basically, when I first started playing Minecraft, I didn't want to pay money for a game that I didn't know much of, and that didn't really look very good to me. So I did a, I did a bit of a search, and anybody who can do a quick uh, YouTube video search and find it, uh, I found where I could download a free version of Minecraft. Though keep in mind, if you do that, you're not actually getting the full Minecraft experience. You're getting a... a, a version of Minecraft that someone broke and put back together in a way that will allow you to play it without logging into Mojang's servers. Uh, Mojang's login servers, Mojang's skin servers, uh, as well as access to other internet content. So when I when I was playing my world, it was only single, play, single player. Now for me, that gave me a bit of a test bed to figure out the game, and eventually I did buy what you see here, the full version of Minecraft. Uh, but uh, initially, using that world, uh, it meant some things didn't quite work right, and I'll get into that in a minute. But this is the seed I'm using, so you can follow along uh, if you want to start off. This is a great seed for anybody who is new to Minecraft. It's also a great seed for someone who wants to start a new single player world but doesn't want to go through the hassle of, of finding a great place to live, finding the resources. This seed basically has everything you need right there. So this is also kind of a, a, seed, a seed spotlight, if you, if you will, uh, at least this episode. Uh, I recommend this seed for anybody new, and you'll see why once we get in the game. Other quick things we're looking at, generate structures on, world type default. I thought about doing the super large biome thing, but I'm going to keep it with the default world. Uh, a note on that, when 1.7 comes out, it's going to change the world, how the world is generated. I'm going to start this solo single player now and see how well it works. If 1.7 screws up the way things are in the single player world, I will just start over and actually do it completely by random. But for now, I want to really get into this and retry this world. Uh, notice cheats are off. I don't want to cheat. No cheating in this game. I won't be slipping into survival mode to get what I need. So you'll know everything is legit. Bonus chest off because that's the way I roll. Done. Okay, let's get into this game. So game mode survival. Uh, Let's create our world. Yeah, it's taking a long time to get this worked up, but here we are. Okay, here we are. Shinhoshi, which Shinhoshi basically means uh, new world. <laughs> it's a different way to say new. Uh, basically, I wanted to say new Hajime, but that just sounds ridiculous in Japanese. Anyway, oh, I'm experiencing lag, which is not normal. Okay. Oh, well, not normal usually, but considering this is a completely new world that's being generated under my feet, I guess that makes sense. Okay, so I started up on that hill. The first time I played Minecraft and started in this world, 
I had no clue where I was going or what I was doing, and I ended up getting lost quite a few times. But hopefully this time, I, I do know where I'm going, and I already know that this is where I'm going to build my house initial, eventually. However, hold on one moment. Okay, sorry, I had to go away for a moment. Uh, back, uh, one, one of the things I had to do was check my difficulty level, and because it was unpeaceful. Uh, incidentally, at this time, my wife has also started her own single-player world. She doesn't have her own account yet, and we thought about... I've mentioned it before that I might re be recording what she does in a series, and we decided not to do that, just to give her the freedom to kind of mess around with Minecraft the way I do. Uh, but you might see her eventually. Anyway, this is where I'm going to do my hidey hole. It's a nice place. This is not where I did my hidey hole initially. Before, like I said, I got lost, so I basically just walked around and made several hidey holes around the area until I found a place that I liked, and then I came back here. But this I like because it has iron, and coal, and dirt, and stone, and basically everything I need except wood. So <laughs> I'm about to go over here. I'm going to swim across over here to this forest to gather me some wood. Uh, anyway, I, to finish what I was talking about before, uh, like I said, yeah, I did use a bootleg version of Minecraft, and it worked fine until about 1.4, and then mobs stopped working. So I went on ahead and bought a regular Minecraft, which was good because I really wanted to get into using servers and multiplayer, and the bootleg just doesn't do that for you. So if you're, if you're listening to this and you're watching this video because you've heard of Minecraft and are not sure if you want to, want to pay to try it, uh, I, I'm not going to say you can or can't use the bootleg versions. However, I, I'd recommend going ahead and giving Mojang the money they deserve and actually buying the, the full game. I like it so much I'm about to buy another license just for my wife to play too. So anyway, I'm going to sit here and punch wood for a while, and I'll be back when I got a few logs to, to use. Okay, I got a bunch of wood, and as you can see down my heart bar here, I already got a crafting table. And so I'm going to head back over here, because I want to get that iron and, and that coal before it gets too dark. That coal doesn't look like it's going to be... Um, I'm going to be able to incorporate that location into my hidey hole. So I'm going to try to get that. I also want to get some of this dirt. Uh, that's around here because I want to use that to cover up this hidey hole. Uh, let's see. I'll plop this down. Plop this down up here. And so this is kind of going to be a difficult place to cover up. I got to cover up that whole hole there, and in order to make sure I can be safe in here. Let's see. Get some sticks out. Good. There we go. And shovel. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get wood shovel uh, pick. And that should be good. I don't need a wood axe or a wood sword or anything like that. This is just so I can get this coal as well as some stone because that's what I'm going to use to get that iron. I don't think you can get stone with a, with a wood pick. Oh, by the way, if you hear some rustling and stuff behind, happening off camera uh, away from my mic it's because my wife is actually here looking over my shoulder watching me play uh, she hasn't seen me do single player in a long time so she's kind of interested especially since she just started her own single player game and it's true uh, not since December really have I done single player with much focus like I said I do have a single player world that I play every once in a while but I don't even really have anything built in that world. I have a little underground residence that I live in, but I don't play it often. I just heard something. I don't want to be in this hole if a zombie's coming. Zombies shouldn't be coming, though. I think there's a cave down here. That's what it sounds like. And if there is, it's new to me because I've never found a cave under this area when I was playing Hajime Boshi. So already, uh, 
old world but finding new stuff I also expect to find a lot of new things because of just because of things added since the update I can't play this the same way that I played it before so even though I played this world before there's still going to be some differences there's going to be some surprises I'm sure let's see but also since I played it before I didn't want us I don't want a, a shovel I want to pick there we go. Since I have played this before, it's going to be uh, fun to to do some things now that I know more about Minecraft. I started this world, when I started this world, I didn't know anything about Minecraft. My first, one of my first nights, I actually freaked myself out because an Enderman popped up in my hidey hole, and I didn't know what an Enderman was. I just knew this thing looked freaky. <laughs> and the sound didn't help at all either. Let's see, what am I going to do over here? I'm going to go up here because I already know I'm going to build my house up here. So let me take some of this dirt because I might, I think I'm going to end up taking it out anyway. There we go. Okay, I'm going to clear out all this dirt. Hopefully I can get it before it gets too dark. And I'll be right back with you. Okay, I finished getting all that dirt. I'm going to make me some torches because it's about to get dark under here. And I'd hate to make a, a safe place to live. And where's the sun at? Is it already setting? Huh? Oh, it's setting over there. Okay. Yeah, it's already setting. So let's get this covered up before I get some bad guys in here. And especially with baby zombies now. It's, they, I think they can come in through one block spaces, but nothing can come up two blocks, so, uh, except for spiders. But this should be okay, I believe. There. And now I got a space so I can see when the sun comes up. Okay, so I'm in the dark here. I uh, don't have a bed, but that's okay because we got a lot to do in here while it's dark. Get, Got to get me some stone. Get some staying, get some things cooking up here. Get some of this iron cooking up, and then I can use it to start burrowing down. Like I said, I think that zombie was in a cave underneath, and I do know there are some cave systems underneath here, but I don't know. I didn't know they came this far back. The cave systems I explored were more over in that direction, uh, and I didn't when I built my my expanded cozy cottage the first time. I did not run into any caves underneath, so I'm kind of surprised I could hear that zombie. Let me see here. Um, I need to make a stove. Why didn't I do that? Let's go and we'll pop that uh, someplace. Let's put that here. I hear something walking outside. It sounds like a zomb uh, skeleton. What I really want to do is find that cave. So I'm going to, let's see, I think I'm going to come over here and start digging down. Do the normal mining thing. I already did some crafting, so time to mine. Oh, good, and found some coal. Okay, here we are. I knew there was a cave around here someplace. I dug a long way to find this thing, too. Um... But this guy led me there, Wheezy. Sounds like you got a bit of a problem there. Oh, by the way, I did get some iron, made myself a pick and a sword. Which is good news for me, bad news for this guy. Thank you. Unfortunately, that means I may have invited other zombies to come by. Let's stick my head out here and see what I find. Ah, creeper! No! <laughs> And uh, maybe you've noticed by now I do scream like a girl whenever I see a creeper. <laughs> well, this is interesting because, you know, when you play on servers, uh, especially modded servers like Shadow Rays, but even when you, even a vanilla server like uh, Punchwood, you got other people around to help you out. If you lose stuff, you, people can help you get it back. Here, it's just me. And so, I can't no one's going to help me survive so it's and it's a scary experience because now i got nothing to 
to defend myself with. I don't even have all that much iron to use. Okay, interesting. I just heard a baby zombie. Oh, and that's a that's something that wasn't in Minecraft when I first started this world. Uh, were the baby zombies, and so and that and horses. I totally forgot there's going to be horses now too. And that's going to definitely change things because now I can explore a lot further, uh, see a lot more. So that's going to be very interesting. I, I look forward to using using that uh, to find out more about this world. But I think, I'm not sure if that music was telling me so, but I think it might have meant that, oh, iron. I think it might have meant that it's almost daytime. And if it is, I need to get up and get some food quick. And I'm not sure if I can even wait for, for wheat to grow. I might have to go and see about picking up some apples. Actually, no, I got an iron sword. It's time to go slaughter me some pigs. Okay, uh, heading back up to the top here. Let's see. Okay, it's daytime. And so it's time to break out of here. And say hello to the world. I better get an axe. I need my axe. There we go. And I got all this iron here. It would be a shame to go out there and die someplace without even smelting it up. So let me stick it in the furnace. And it looks like I'm going to have me some iron armor in no time. We're cooking with gas. Actually, we're cooking with coal. But you get my point. Hey, piggy, piggy, piggy. Hey, piggy, piggy, piggy. Come here, piggy, piggy, piggy. I'm just walking up. Hey, you want to see my short? Ah, there you go. Okay. And oh, you too. Okay. Anybody else want to? Oh, you want to? Okay. You want to be my meal too, huh? And I, do you know if there's any more pigs around here? Because I kind of need to farm you guys. Oh, well. Thank you. Okay, this will do me nicely because I'm about to die of starvation. Oh no, I'm being chased by a baby zombie and I'm dying of starvation. Get away from me! Don't kill me! Please don't kill me! Don't kill me! Okay. Whew. Well, fortunately, jumping and, and running away may actually kill me anyway. Where's that hidey hole at? There it is. Okay. Ah, oh, nice pork chops. Mmm, pork chops. All I need is some applesauce. Uh, anyway, it's almost midday, and I gotta get cracking, because I made myself some shears. Because I saw some sheep over here earlier. So I'm about to sheep me... I'm about to shear shick sheep for my sleeping. <laughs> and so I'm gonna go over here and find me some sheep to shear. And then I can make craft myself a bed so I don't have to spend the night kind of just... Uh, well, actually, I, st I have that cave, and I do want to do some exploring down there. But I'm anxious to get started on my house. Which I actually may not do this episode, because I've already done quite a bit. But it's still good to have a bed to sleep in. Uh, it makes a nice cap to the end of the episode to be able to go to sleep. So, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, going to make me a bed. It's going to be nice and comfy. There we go. A bed. Cool. A nice red bed. And FYI, all beds in Minecraft are red. Ditterbone. It'd be nice if we could use some dye, change colors of our beds. Just saying, just saying. It's your game. Do what you want. But it would. I would like, I would like some bed dye. Okay, I'm going to go underground for the rest of the day because I right now I got me a nice... Oh, hmm, I thought I did. Oh, I, <laughs> I got me an iron chest plate, but I forgot to put it on. There we go. And I don't want to use the rest of this iron until I found some more iron to, to go with it because who knows what might happen while I'm underground. Uh, so I got, I'm going to keep this iron. Actually, I better leave it up here in a safe place. Um... Let's see here. Quick chest to put my valuables in. 
There we go. Don't need, don't need, don't need, don't need, don't need, uh, don't need, don't need, don't need. And don't need. I don't think I'll need it. Okay. Oh, and don't need that. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to go downstairs. Let's do some caving. Okay. So, I, like I said, I'm having a lot of fun doing this. Uh, part of the reason why I decided to start the single player is because of the confusion about what's going to happen with New Punchwood. Uh, we're, we're not sure if we're going to be able to save that server, but we're working on it. Uh, it's a matter of getting a hold of the server owner, because he's really the one that controls uh, everything, basically. So we want to talk to him, but we're willing to do whatever it takes to keep that server alive. So I'll keep you apprised on that as it happens. However, should Punchwood go down, I'm going to be in a bit of a state of limbo as I find something to fill its place. Uh, I don't want to go that way quite yet. And so I'm looking at, I decided I wanted to go ahead and start this Let's Play. Also with uh, 1.7 coming on the horizon, I figure if 1.7 doesn't do anything to, oh, I should have made me a shovel. Mm, oh well. If 1.7 doesn't screw up this map, then it would be nice to, to Whoa, I hate that sound. Ooh, ooh! And lag! Ah, oh, darn lag! Stupid lag! It's gonna kill me. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got my chest play. That's working pretty nicely. Okay, that's gonna help against a zombie, but that uh, Skelebling is not gonna help so much against him. So. There is a strategy I can use. It's gotten me out of a tough situation before. And it's about, it's called chopping them at the knees. And actually, one time I was almost dead, and this did literally save my life. Or they could just fight each other. That works too. <laughs> I could just sit here and watch. Uh, who, who's going to win? Go Zombling, go Zombling, you could take them. Take him, Zumbling. Zumbling isn't even hitting him, is he? Stupid Zumbling. Oh, I got some shoes. Nice shoes. Oh, what did I get? Golden boots. Mm, okay, well, they're better than nothing. <laughs> okay. Uh, so anyway, what was I saying before we were, were really interrupted? Oh, okay. Man, I was hoping to get a, a bow out of that, or something, at least an arrow. Oh, well. Um, so what was I saying? I totally forgot. Oh, yeah, I'm thinking about some different servers to do, some different uh, activities to do. Uh, mini games is an idea. Uh, I got to talk to some some of the other guys I've been playing with, see if we can do something together on that. Uh, I think that would be a lot of fun. Uh, ravine? No, that's not a ravine. Just a very deep hole. As I said, I all this time. I feel like I've lived here for years because I've been using the seed for such a long time. But I didn't know this cave existed here at all. Let's see. But I wouldn't be surprised if I came across a abandoned mine shaft. Because as I've discovered with this seed, it's lousy with abandoned mine shafts. Okay, that's probably underneath that lake up there. And it sounds like it's nighttime too. Matter of fact, when I was playing the seed before, pretty much seemed like every hole I dug into had an abandoned mine shaft in it. I hear a I hear a um what do you call those things? A slimy. I, I, that's not what you call these things, but that's what I'm going to call it. Where is that? Mm, Some place. Oh, there is a swamp nearby, so maybe it's they're coming from there. Uh, which it was about. It was, I think it was that update. I think it was 1.5 where slime started to come from the swamps, and that was when everything else broke for me. So. 
So this is going to be interesting. I'm going to continue caving down here, uh, and then I'll get back with you in a bit. Okay, back up. I got me uh, not too much stuff. The cave was the cave goes a long way, and I didn't explore all of it. But from what I exp explored, I expected to find a little more than this. I came back with seven chunks of iron. I'm going to pop those in, get those smelted up. But uh, I was kind of hoping for a little more than that. Anyway, um, let's go on ahead. I got a little bit of time. I'm going to go up and check out the location for the house. Uh, actually, I do need to get a lot of stuff for it. Basically, I'm going to build my cozy cottage, uh, expanded cozy cottage. For that, I'm going to need uh, brick. I'm going to need uh, some more wood. I might as well go grab some of that. I'm going to need some spruce. So I can go get that. I'm going to need some food to eat, so I might as well kill a couple of pigs while I'm here. Thank you. I, I honor your sacrifice. And you too, sir. Thank you. So I'm going to need a lot of things. Oh, more pigs, great. Uh, yeah, I'll kill you too. I don't want to kill all the pigs, of course. And I'm not sure how many pigs... Oh, there's plenty over there, so you're dead. Come here. Yeah, give it up. Give up that pork. Oh, where'd the other guy go? Did he run away? You know, if you wanted to do the smart thing, you would have went and joined that group over there, and I would have, wouldn't have known. Now, that's going to give me enough pork for a while. Ooh, holes. More holes. Okay, yeah, I know that place. So that may yield me some more. I don't remember what's in there. Keep in mind, I started this this world a year ago. The the initial one, the original one. I started a year ago. So I'm pretty sure... Uh, I don't remember a lot of what's in there. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to exhaust what I do know pretty quickly here. Basically, starting this world is going to give me a, a head start in getting this world established. I'm going to build my cozy cottage here. And then I'm going to start ex start heading out and exploring some lands and establishing additional bases elsewhere. So I'm going to do a lot of building on this server. And as you know, that's what I really like to do is building. Uh, but there's also some new stuff that I haven't... There's some stuff that I haven't done in, sh in uh, Minecraft before. Uh, for example, I've never fought the Ender Dragon. I've never fought a Wither Boss. Uh... I've discovered a mushroom biome, but I've never actually built anything there. Uh, there's a lot of stuff I haven't done. And then, of course, there are things that are new, that have been introduced to Minecraft since I've started this one. Uh, since, I've, since I've been playing, since I haven't been playing the seed. So, basically, we're going to be exploring a lot of that stuff together. Uh, we're going to be doing some cool stuff together. Eventually, I'll be going into see to fight the ender dragon. Fighting is not necessarily the thing I enjoy the most about Minecraft, but I do get some enjoyment out of it, at least out of beating a new challenge. Uh, so we're going to be doing a bunch of that stuff, uh, as well as building. The building I'm going to do kind of as a tutorial, uh, showing you how to, how, how to build the buildings I, I build, how to build the buildings I build. I'm going to be doing that. Um, a lot of the buildings initially would be kind of simple, but uh, I think we'll be having some fun with that. Anyway, I'm going to go on ahead, head back to my hidey hole. Uh, I think this is enough for the day. Oh man, these shoes just don't look right on me. But until next time, this is Jaden Max.